Right now in Dalton, some people are asking who's in charge. That's after a judge put a stop to Mayor Tiffany Henyard's plans to appoint new village leaders on her own. Our Tara Molina is live outside Village Hall. Tara, no signs of the mayor there. That's right, Erica. No signs of the mayor who was already under investigation for her handling of village finances. Now with this new ruling, she's she'd need board approval for moves we know she wanted to make on her own. Who is running the village of Dalton? Not the village manager, village attorney and police chief Mayor Tiffany Henyard wanted to appoint with a judge forbidding Henyard from making appointments without the consent of village trustees. The judge also issuing a restraining order, which prohibits any of Henyard's appointees from taking office. I've been covering government in Northern Illinois for more than 40 years, and I've never seen anything like this. That's David Grising, the president and chief executive officer of the Better Government Association. This has been a slow moving train wreck for months. The judge's ruling? a win in court for some of those trustees. The trustees who are trying to uh, take back their city from a rogue mayor. As for who's running the village with no village mayor, village attorney or police chief. The trustees when they can get a quorum are the ones who are running Dalton. All of this follows former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot working as a special investigator here revealing the village's general fund had a negative balance of 3.65 million. That was after a limited examination of Dalton's finances. With Lightfoot originally hired by trustees, concerned about Henyard's spending. Accusations like self-promoting taxpayer-funded billboards, ads, spending on lavish dinners and trips. Lightfoot found $40,000 spent on Amazon purchases in one day, money that's unaccounted for. But the former mayor isn't the only one investigating. The FBI also conducting an investigation at Dalton Village Hall without elaborating on who is being investigated. Regardless, Henyard will have to cooperate if and when the FBI asks questions about village finances. Grising telling me the money troubles here far from over. The aftermath of this mayor's conduct is going to be a bill that uh, residents of Dalton will be dealing with for many years to come. I reached out to all of the village's trustees in reporting this story here today. So far, we haven't heard back from any of them. But if we do, we'll update the story you can find on our website right now. Reporting live in Dalton, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago. Thank you, Tara.